My name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you the story of Pablo Escobar. Starts right now. Pablo Escobar in full Pablo Emilio Escobar Gabriela, born December 1, 1949. Renegro, Colombian, died December 2, 1993. Madeline, Colombian criminal who has head of the Madeline cartel, was arguably the world's most powerful drug traffickers in the 1980s and early 90s. Soon after his birth, Escobar family, his father was a farmer and his mother a school teacher, moved to Envigado, Colombia, a suburb of Medellin. While still a teenager, he began a life of crime. His early illegal activities included selling fake diplomas, smuggling stereo equipment, and stealing tombstone to resale. Escobar also stole cars and it was his offense that resulted in his first arrest in 1974. As the cocaine industry grew in Colombia, thanks in part to his proximity to Peru, Ecuador, and Bolivia, major grower of coca. From which cocaine is derived, Escobar became involved in drug smuggling. In the middle of 1970s, he helped fund the crime organization that later became known as the Medellin Cartel. His notable partners included the Ocha brother, Juan David, George Luis, and Fabio. Escobar served as head of the organization, which focused largely on the production, transport, and sale of cocaine. By the middle of 1980s, the Medellin Cartel dominated the cocaine trade, which Escobar wielded incredible power and wealth. According to some reports, it was worth approximately $25 billion, which supported a lavish lifestyle that included a 7,000-acre estate called Ascianda, Napoli, named name after Napoli in Italy, Colombia. It reportedly cost $63 million and features a soccer field, dinosaur status, artificial lake, a bull fighting arena, and an airstrip and a tennis court. The properties also had a zoo that housed giraffe, hippopotamus, and camel, among other animals. In addition, Escobar founded various projects to aid the poor any in comparison to robin that perception helped him win election to an alternate seat in the country congress in 1980 however such philanthropic work were offset by escobar's well-known ruthlessness he handled problem with plata plano meaning silver a lead in addition to rival drug traffickers. Notably, in the Kali Cartel, his victims included government officials, policemen, and civilians in 1989. The Cartel reportedly placed a bomb aboard an airplane in an attempt to kill an alleged informant. More than 100 people were killed. The threats of extradition to the United States, which has the dis destination of most of the cartel drugs, had come to view Escobar as a top target in its war on drugs, drew even greater retaliation from Escobar, who reportedly said that he would rather have a grave in Colombia than a jail cell in the U.S. Amid the growing bloodshed, a massive manhunt was undertaken to find Escobar why the government also began negotiation for its surrender. In June 1991, on the same day that Colombia Congress voted to forbid extradition in the country, new constitution, Escobar surrendered and was subsequently jailed. His imprisonment, however, had little effect on his criminal activity and his lifestyle. He was allowed to build a luxurious prison which became known as La Catra. Note, not only did the facility include a nightclub, sauna, waterfall, and soccer field, it also had telephone, computers, and fax machine. However, after Escobar Toton and killed two cartel members at La Catra, officials decided to move him to a less accommodating prison. 
Before it could be transferred, Escobar escaped custody in July 1992. The colonial government reportedly aided by U.S. official and rival drug traffickers launched a manhunt on December 2, 1993. Escobar celebrated his 44th birthday, allegedly enjoying cake, wine, and marijuana. The next day, his hideout in Mandolin was discovered. Why Colombian force stormed the building, Escobar and a bodyguard managed to get to the roof. A chase and gunfight ensued, and Escobar was fatally shot. Some, however, speculated that he took his own life after he died. The meddling cartel soon collapsed. A larger than life figure, Escobar inspired numerous books, movies, and TV projects in a decade after his death. So, this is the story of Pablo. Escobar. If you find this story very interesting, I need you right now to subscribe to this channel for more stories like this and don't forget to like this video. My name is Michael once again.